Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the IPL face-off San Francisco showdown qualifier. I am Rapid and this is Trooper Troopers going up against Orbit Gaming for a spot in the semi-finals. This is round three of the open brackets and uh, both of these teams have come a very long way to get to this point. Trooper Troopers that I'm highlighting here, I'll go over their lineup in a little bit in case you guys are a little bit unfamiliar with their team comp or with their team members rather. Um, they actually defeated CLG. 2-0. Now, CLG was playing from Korea, so there were obviously some issues there, but still an impressive feat for a team a lot of people may not have heard of, though their members may be a little bit more famous or infamous considering your exposure to them. And like I said, they will be going up against Orbit Gaming, all five members from Orbit Strong running down through the bottom jungle for Troopers Troopers. Uh, you guys are probably a little bit more familiar with Orbit. Uh, they've actually done really amazingly in their last couple of tournaments. They uh, won the Leaguepedia Invitational, and then took down uh, both CLG uh, not CLG, but TSM 2-0, as well as MTW 2-0 in the grand finals of the TSM Invitational this past weekend. So they are doing amazingly, amazingly, uh, well, good. I was going to say well, but uh, yeah, you know how it is. And uh, they will be going up against uh, Troopers Troopers. Now, uh, Captain America used to be the captain of a team named Gesture Average Joes that ravaged Go for Lols and a lot of uh, just smaller open tournaments online. Had a very, uh, very interesting guy. And Phantom Lord on there as well as uh, Captain Korea, but uh, now they have all gathered together in this one sort of solo queue pub star team. Looks like their bottom lane of Super and Mr. Fissures are going b down bottom lane, and actually one of the things you can do is just wait in this brush, and then when the bottom lane recalls to come through there, you just jib them right there, and it's uh, slightly effective. There's a ward here placed by or by uh, Super Troopers at their own red buff, so they know that it's being counter juggled. Here comes in High L9 to look to get the smite off here, but a little bit of just free harass being dropped there by Trooper is just gonna keep dropping acid hunters in there elimination however is in there on blizzcrank will he be able to get the grab oh my goodness mr. fissures forced to flash out will he be able to get out of there alive he's getting dps will high be able to take him down there's the ignite goes down on Trooper, but just a little bit premature everybody's just coming out of this fight a little bit bruised and battered what is the status of this red buff it did get taken actually so that will be not on high on nine but rather on nian tun so oh my goodness i literally just faced palm just because that is uh so Bane has a weak early game guys I, I thought i'd let you know because with that red buff it's gonna be a little bit ridiculous now still not totally ridiculous but here we go we're gonna get a lot of harassment down on its super there's double exhaust going out but i think the nian so may come out a little bit ahead but no the heal picks up the troll but is there going to be enough damage and the acid hunter picks up the kill at first blood lemonation actually in a really horrible spot right now the acid hunter cannot go through the minion wave that minion wave just saved lemonation nation's life oh my goodness so the minions like chill out we're on our way we're gonna get there just in time well uh lemon or oh, neon tanso actually didn't uh didn't get in time there for him but uh, apparently lemon nation has made a uh, a death pact with them Speaking of death packs, we're gonna check out a little bit of counter jungle attempts here. Nick Wu, uh, brother of the infamous Clakey D, did pretty well at uh, the most recent Evo, and here we go, jumping on to high L9. The exhaust goes down, so much damage. You can just see Burnout doing 90% of that, and then the twin buy to pick up the kill. Oh my goodness, that was a uh, was a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage. Nick Wu doing some epic counter jungling instead of going for the creeps kills, going for the champion kills, and takes down the jungler. Now that would have been really unfortunate if they had given the red buff. Away way to a Nick Wu, but here we go. We're going to jump in onto Yazuki. Captain America needs to get out of there. He's going to flash out, but will this be enough damage from Nick Wu? Yeah, he's going to take down Yazuki, and uh, Captain America, whoa, getting out of there with sub-10 HP. That's why you pop health potions when you turret dive, guys. That is uh, a little bit ridiculous. You can see he stacked a couple of stacks of hemorrhage on just to get a little bit of extra... Uh, slow with that crippling strike and then uh, well backed on out of there flashed out at just the last second Lemonation actually looking to go in there on Trooper, but they trade one for one and actually Lemonation could go down here to some epic support on support action but uh, Mr. Fissure is not going to be uh, quite that offensive I actually had a uh, Soraka that supported me one time that went uh, nothing but flat AD and uh, just kept auto attacking you think these bananas are strong now you have not seen uh, you know full flat AD uh, 
bananas coming at your face. They're, they're a little bit, a uh, little bit up there. So here we go. Captain America comes back into lane with dodge boots. Well, they're not dodge boots. They're colloquially called that ever since the Ninja Tabby became not quite so ninja tastic. Middle lane, something I haven't really discussed so far is Judy Monica versus Nubby Pooh Bear. And so, uh, Carthage just wants to sit here and farm it out. And actually, something that uh, Troopers Troopers have neglected to, uh, neglected to check out is well, pretty much every single past game that Orbit has been playing, just because uh, these guys guys are a little bit uh a little bit experienced with a couple of their different team composition choices namely that is the blitzcrank karthus and nocturne when you put the, all three of those guys in the same team that's actually a lot of damage how much ap does he have oh, only 20 so he's going per levels and uh the full offense tree uh, a lot of zillions like to go defense tr or uh, utility tree just because it gives you so many cooldown options and a lot of mana regen as well, which is something that zillion definitely needs to pick up there. Bottom lane, so much damage going off, but it's really this mid lane chunk. Every time you hear that little ping, it's going to be because another bomb went out on Nubby Pooh Bear. Now, top lane, Yazuki actually dropping down pretty low, and oh my goodness, you can see Captain America is so good at landing that 50% uh, increased damage on the, just the edge of the bladed axe for Decimate. And uh, here we go, Nick Wu going to find Hyal 9 in the jungle once again, and he's rolling around here calling for Captain America. Is he going to be able to get there in time? Oh my goodness, bottom lane, there's a little bit more action going on just non-stop confrontation here are we gonna see a grab on to mr fisher's or trooper he actually does grab trooper he's gonna get impaled into the wall the dash backwards i don't, don't actually think he got that impaled trooper will go down here there is the proc of silver bolts to pick up one kill will mr fisher's go down as well and there's a double kill for nian sun so so yeah the bot veins early uh or week early game guys that's uh not, not looking like the case here so Judy Monica is going to be throwing out some bombs and uh, trying to get things uh, pushed up to Karthus' turret so he misses a little bit of farm. Hyal 9 just kind of camping out top lane. He doesn't know where Nick Wu is and uh, Nick Wu actually is uh, kind of waiting here for a while. Only level 5. Needs to get that level 6 pretty soon. If he was level 6 they could totally tower dive Yuzuki right now. And uh, oh my goodness. Here comes up Judy Monica. He's going to put a bomb onto uh, Nick Wu's head. Run him into the turret and that's going to be pretty effective except now they're just going to back off and now uh, look Looks like they're gonna go for either a kill on high or oh, they're chasing him around the backside. They know he's going for raids. They're gonna. Ch oh no! No, high all night. It's so painful to watch. Don't die. No, it's so sad. But Nocturne, uh, Frozen Terror or not, I actually think that's the Void Nocturne. I forget exactly what it is, but he. Uh, well, speaking of forgetting about him, he is, his body is gone, he is no more, but uh, now we're going to see this kind of two-man combo. Captain America going to tank the turret, has a lot of armor, but so much damage. The teleport in from Nubby Pooh Bear, will it be enough to pick up Nick Wu? He is slowed, but he should be able to get out of there with Burnout. Actually getting hit by one lay waste after another, he's forced to live in that defile. Here comes in Captain America, will Nick Wu go down? No, but Captain America actually almost just completely solos Nubby Pooh Bear, except that he did run out of mana, and so now with nothing... Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, Ion can and there's Zillion Judy Monica coming up from the middle lane just in the nick of time. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let me go over these team comps just kind of, kind of let you guys know what's up. Uh, the Nocturne Karthus combo is ridiculously effective because no matter where Nocturne ganks on the map, he's going to have that uh, Ion Cannon from Requiem on Karthus. So he's going to pop Requiem. Then you have a. Uh, you know, an ulting Nocturne in there, Nocturne in on your face. That's going to be double damage, and with the laning partners that you choose, uh, it's going to be uh, pretty pretty effective at picking up some kills, as long as you don't gank Karthus' lane, because then he's not going to be there to dish out the DPS. He's channeling Requiem. The counter to this, that's, uh, I was thinking, oh man, Troopers, Troopers does not know what's going on. You know, these guys are not very well, and then I realized they have Zillion. And so Zillion's going to be here, and in any team fights, any situation in which there's uh, not really... Uh, a lot of survivability is just gonna be able to pop down that ult and be like, hey, uh, I heard you like to kill people from across the map. I don't think so. Plus, with the Karthus Defile, he's going to be able to kill himself almost on command if he ever does get down pretty low. So, we'll see what Judy Monica has in store. He is blue buffed, so that's gonna be bombs on top of bombs. Terrorist Zillion, which unfortunately is not a skin, although probably fortunately enough, uh, is not, uh, is, is gonna be able to uh, drop bombs, but hopefully he won't keep on forgetting what he wrote down. Uh, depending on uh, a few other things. There's the flash over the wall, the pull back in onto High Elf 9, the spell shield taken down, and there's the Darius ult for the kill. Captain America 
Oh my goodness, just roaming all over the jungle. Hitting the backspace to cover some bottom lane action. We're gonna go check out uh, Nyantan So versus Lemon Nation. Here we go. There's the grab once again. Lemon Nation just got all the moves. Lycan to one named possibly Jagger. Here we go. One more auto attack. No, I take it back. One more. There's the flash in. Nyantan So actually dropping down super low. Will he be able to get out of here alive? He's going to be able to dodge, but will one more banana pick up the kill? No, it's gonna be Nick Wu's flame breath, but no. You have a Rambo support. Mr. Fissures coming in there, picking up the kill with a star call so it's bananas it's stars it's everything dropping from the sky up from on high soraka doing some work this time around and here we go the counter jungle attempt from Troopers, troopers, Mr. Fissure's gonna do a DPS down Lemon Nation. When you take that early rank of Star Call, you can do whatever you want as Soraka. Does ridiculous amounts of damage. And who actually took that blue buff? Uh, they did not give that away to Judy Monica. But now look, every single member of Troopers, troopers, well, with the exception of poor dead Urgot. Dumb guy, Urgot, uh, dies before Dragon. So, uh, this is gonna be still a four-man uh, Dragon attempt. Way being pushed into the top turret, but uh, Captain America's not really gonna care about that too much. He's like, hey, we've got Dragon, we've got kills, we've got everything we need. Going double Thorad's Blade on Darius, a really strong start. Not anything crazy like double gold for Fives, but here we go. We're gonna speed in on to Nubby Pooh Bear. He's a little bit dumb. What? That is, uh, slightly unfortunate. Now Captain America's gonna drop down super low and require the aid of Judy... No, he didn't die because, uh, Karthus was out of mana. So, what Karthus could have done is he could have suicided and then just traded one for one. Trading kills with Karthus, always effective just because you're always going to get that farm. Now, you can see Karthus goes back to base and he wants to channel that ultimate. And actually, if he had done it, he might have picked up Captain America after his first tick of healing from the fountain. But, uh, nothing doing, just gonna play it safely. And actually, something interesting is you do see y Yazuki running top lane, uh... Hecarim, not something you see a whole lot, and kind of uh, something that may or may not do very well against Darius. Sure, there's going to be a lot of move speed to run away, but if you're running, that means that uh, Darius is winning something or other. Never a situation you want to put yourself in, so I don't know. We'll have to see how this lineup from Orbit works out. Uh, this is game one, so even if it doesn't work out for them this time, they will have a game two to turn things around in, but uh, I don't know. There's Nick Wu taking down Lemon Nation. We're going to go backspace and check out exactly how this happens. It's just non-stop action, like I said before, in this bottom lane. So much going on. I just, I don't even know. There's the old backwards. Lemon Nation getting taken down by Nick Wu, like we just saw earlier. Will Nianton so go down? There's the exhaust. So much damage coming out from Nick Wu in dragon form. And that is the double kill. Dragon's Descent. Uh, kind of descending a little bit onto, uh, well, the entire bottom lane for Orbit. And right now, Troopers, Troopers getting the job done. They're going ahead and taking down this bottom turret. Uh, Troopers says, hey, man, crazy stuff happening down here. We're going to end this laning phase and push things onto the middle of the game. And uh, middle game, in, mid game, not really a set time period. What it is is, hey, your turrets are gone. You don't have something to protect you. So we're going to be all over everything for you. And for Troopers, Troopers, they're pretty much like that already. I mean, they've been all the way deep in inside high on nine's jungle top lane and then counter jungling the blue buff taking down dragons pretty much everything you could ever want there is the nocturnal combined with the ult from Karthus Captain America looking a little bit distraught at the moment but uh ugh, not uh, not enough to uh, pick up the kill there so Nubby Pooh Bear, you know, helping out a little bit, and uh, that is exactly what uh, Captain America feared. There was no Judy Monica to save him that time around. You did see, actually, no bomb pressure onto Karthus. Usually, you can get a free double bomb off while he's spamming his uh, Requiem, so... Judy Monica doing a good job speeding himself away, dodging all those layways, just pretty much making it impossible for them to land, but uh, I was going to say impossible, he gets hit by one, so maybe not impossible if you're on the skill level that Nubby Pooh Bear is. So, Lemonation roaming mid and uh, looking to get a grab on a Judy Monica, although I'm not sure that's necessarily something that a Karthus with zero mana could possibly uh, assist with, but uh, here we go. It looks like bottom lane uh, Nyantan So going to uh, take down a lot of the... Uh, creeps in the lane while the lemon nation is not available it's just hey man you kill by turret i'm just gonna farm this out because i'm vain i had a great early game and actually going for a long sword so he might have been thinking about getting a wriggles there or a brutalizer for increased uh, armor penetration and cooldowns but uh, you don't really see that although brutalizer is uh it's it's pretty good on a few 80 carries uh i see a lot of, see it a lot on like a graves pick just because it allows so many more buckshots however against such a brutal bruiser 
your lane as Urgot. I'm really surprised to see somebody uh, like Vayne doing well, and that's just all Lemon Nation. I mean, people want to give it to the AD carry. They deal so much damage. They can single-handedly carry the game. No, no, it's all about those supports, man. Lemon Nation is just it's doing such a good job. It has dodge boots for extra armor and double gold for fives. Pretty much everything he needs. Uh, you do see some five speeds on a few Blitzcranks just looking for those running and initiates. I think you can get up to like six, seven hundred move speed if you go like a hyper, hyper move speed build on the Blitzcrank just because of his ridiculous move speed buff. But uh, Overdrive, I believe Overdrive actually used to slow you after your attack, after your move speed buff in its previous incarnation. But they did uh, change it, not recently, this was a long time ago, but uh, to make it way better. So Blitzcrank, pretty good. And uh, with the initiate power that he does have, it's pretty much, hey, would you like to, uh, would you like to fight a 4v5? Yes or no? And then you just check yes and you win. And uh, so here we go. Yazuki getting pulled back into a Nick Wu and Captain America. He's going to ult out of there, but is that going to be enough? Hemorrhage ticking down. Will... Oh, man. They cannot catch Yazuki. He's just too fast. Nick Wu popping overdrive and uh, kicking it in and able to pick up that kill. So uh, he's actually doing pretty good. Uh, Burnout actually giving him a 50% move speed boost. But here we go. There's the Nocturne all coming in there along with Nubby Pooh Bear. He doesn't necessarily want to die, but once he does, he's going to be channeling that Requiem. And here we will we see it actually go down. Is it up? I yeah no it's not up that's actually pretty huge because that means that now they're just gonna be running over orbit over and over again they're just in the jungle doing basically whatever they want bottom lane coming up here to try to make a play everybody is low so maybe Nianton So can try to take them out and they're oh no they're waiting in the brush but uh scumbag minions follow them all the way down there that is, uh, that's a lucky, uh, lucky thing for Nianton. So not that he would have face checked that brush. That would have been an absolutely horrible thing to do. Uh, you never, like, chase somebody through a brush because then it's like, oh, they turn around, have the initiated advantage, and do massive pain to your face, which is, uh, also never very optimal. There's the pull into the turret by Nick Wu. He's gonna get damaged, and there is the ult. He needs to kill himself right now. He's jumping in there and will kill himself on Defile, what I mentioned there earlier. Uh, but there is the death on Captain America. Nubby Pooh Bear teleporting in for the win this isn't quite phantom lord style karthus you just don't have that revive revive a little bit weird plus it gives you a lot of stats so not quite as weak although they have nerfed it about eight thousand times il9 is going to come in here and try to get something done but the ult backwards is going to be enough they don't want to use too many spells on high but uh, just back and forth action at this turret non-stop just back and forth i don't i don't know what to say there's that's a perfect word choice analogy for it, just because you see plays being made on both sides, but uh, is it really something that uh, is going to turn out in Orbit's favor in the end? I don't know. They're going to have to sort of pull things together. They do have a really good initiate comp, a really good late game comp, and somebody that does okay when they die instantly. So I think that that is... That may be fairly imminent, let's just put it that way, for, uh, for Karthus, just because he's going to need to get in there. There is... Uh, Uh, excuse me, had to uh, take a little bit of a drink of water I've been casting for a few hours today, but uh, here we go. We're going to see Orbit looking to make a play on Dragon, and no Troopers comes in right behind them. Orbit backs away, but they don't ward it. Why would you back away from Dragon without warding it? There is that Oracles on Shivana, so maybe they just didn't have any left after you clear them all, and that's going to be another Dragon for uh, Captain America and the rest of his team. I actually think that's uh, Chooper, you know, this being Chooper's Troopers, maybe the captain of this time around, but uh, when you put captain in your name, it's easy to easy to get that a little bit mistaken, but uh, they have got everything down pat. They have uh, about a 6,000 gold advantage almost. They have, uh, you know, kills on the people that need them. Uh, a little bit of a lack of kills on uh, Judy Monica, but uh, also a lack of deaths. So you can just say, hey, he's been farming it up. Has, uh, you know, it's going to have about 110 farm. Karthus keeping it up, though, as far as the farm department is concerned. Has that Rod of Ages. It's going to help him scale throughout the game. And that's the great thing about going Rod of Ages, because it allows you to uh, scale without getting sort of kills or items. It powers you up over time so even if you're dying a lot like Karthus may or may not do and you can see high all nine kind of letting uh, Yuzuki get in there there's the ult coming down from Karthus so much damage fearing Captain America back into the team will Yuzuki go down that's so much damage look at that and it's true damage plus you have the, the uh, magic damage ticking over time from hemorrhage 
Man, that's a, that's a little bit effective. And uh, Nubby Pooh Bear says, yeah, I'm in base. I might as well help out up there. And help out he did, making one play at a time. And that's really what Orbit's going to have to do to come back into this. You're going to see Wits End picked up on Shivana. She is super strong right now as uh, she's 7 and 0 oh with everything she could possibly want, including the backspace key, which is slightly effective. So there we go. A lot of action going up bottom lane. Looks like Chuber may go down, but Nintendo cannot go that far into turret range. Lemonation looks like he could be the first to fall. Except that, uh, oh wait, Mr. Fisher dropping down super low as well. Lemonation does go down. Will Nientenso have the micro to kill Chuper? And there is the zillion old. Oh my goodness, for the and one. Says, hey, Chuper, you know, I, I got your back. My job is to press this key over and over again. And then follow it up with every once in a while, throwing down a chrono shift for the, uh, the ult and the uh, save. So there is a little bit of pause in there. So apologies for that. But uh, I did have to pause it and then, you know, just so we wouldn't have to deal with waiting all the way through the uh, delay. So uh, this is going to be a pretty good game so far. Uh, I mean, it's 15 to 7, so you guys may see, oh man, I don't know who these super troopers guys are, but they are pretty good at this game. And uh, I believe you'd be correct in that assumption. The only difference in, uh, you know, your assessment and mine is that uh, also Orbit doing fairly well, I'd say. You know, they've taken seven kills, so they're, uh, they're being doubled up in the kill count, but uh, really the thing that's going to start to hurt them is this gold count. If they were like ridiculously out farming troopers because of the plays they were making, it'd be okay but uh, they're not really they're keeping it even and uh, so this kills definitely starting to pile up and uh, as far as the uh, CS count is concerned you can see 109 versus 98 so troopers troopers winning uh uh, in the CS department by about 10 or so, and uh, Judy Monica actually taking a lot of pain here from these lay wastes. Uh, but there is the the flash in on Nubby Pooh Bear. What? D D Judy Monica just flashed in to slow Nubby Pooh Bear with the last of his mana. I I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but you know I I could be mistaken. Uh, we do actually see a lot of blue here. There's the pull back in on Judy Monica. Does he have his ult available? Just enough mana. To get him out of there alive, wants to use the last of that to uh, maybe reposition himself, but he's still in the danger zone. Why are you so far in the enemy jungle with uh, zero health? Uh, it's going to be kind of dangerous. Judy Monica will have to get out of there alive, but he's backing on a ward. Nubby Pooh Bear sees this and will need to go in on this Nick Wu and Captain America trying to protect him, but uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to get that done uh, as the rest of uh, Orbit Gaming sort of milling here around mid. This is how you can tell that uh, we're solidly into the mid game. It's 20 minutes down and everybody's just like, all right, ARAM time. So we're gonna run here and uh, though this is not the proving ground, so I would like to see professional proving grounds matches, although I don't feel like it's, you know, 100% balanced quite yet. Did you see Guardian Angel on Shooper along with the makings of a Frozen Heart still just going with one speed boots, so that may be a little bit of an interesting choice to see exactly which boots uh, he does go for. There is nothing going on here, although both teams checking it with pulls and then also with uh, the Karthus wall there. So, oh my goodness, I just see Captain America get yoinked out of the side of my screen. He gets healed, he has extra armor the teleport is down onto the turret there comes snubby pooh bear one ult after another captain america dies but he had zillion ult on him who's taking the turret that's nick Wu's job he revives for a triple kill darius oh my goodness nick Wu will go down here uh so that's one shut down but uh i think that's a fairly good trade three kills on captain america just having that ult up whenever he needed it and uh, then dying coming back from the dead then saying you know what thanks judy monica i'm, I'm glad you allowed me to take up the triple and and uh, right now, Troopers Troopers 10 kills up, uh, moving into that 10k gold advantage range that is so, so difficult to come back for from. I think that uh, I've only seen a handful of games where that's actually been the case, and uh, Troopers Troopers definitely looking to uh, put it into that category. I don't know, guys. It's uh, it's sort of all Trooper all the time. Well, uh, it's all his team all the time. It's a little bit like that. Uh, oh, wow. There's the ult coming out from Yenton. So, catching Captain America. Will this be enough to pick up the kill? There's the heal and not something that they can chase in here. But it looks like they will. Nyanton so push checking. I'm not sure why you would do that. There's the ult. Uh, and the... Ooh, I'm not sure if that was Zillion or Guardian Angel. Both of them just now being popped. So much damage going off on the high L9. Chuber actually could go down to the AoE from Karthus. Or Lemonation actually could get the kill as well. So, Chuber getting healed by uh, the uh, Soraka heal at the last second. Now he's going to revive from Guardian Angel. Nobody dies on Chooper's Troopers. This is like the Marines. There's no man left behind. And Nubby Pooh Bear trying to get onto Judy Monica, but he's going to get taken down instead. Now here we see Chooper versus 
versus Lemon Nation. Is it gonna be enough damage? You see a Nick Wu speed in there for the twin bite, which is gonna be able to pick up that kill. Aegis of the Legion purchased on Darius, so he's like, hey man, we're going to uh we're gonna you know keep everybody healthy, keep everybody uh full of all these awesome stats, and oh wait, the best stat of all is life, and we're gonna be passing that one out as well. Super is just man making the most of all of his resources, going completely out of mana, still sitting in there, auto attacking for the win, and man, just the entire team for orbit or for orbit just uh, walking in there 1v1. You never send Vayne into the front of a bush by herself. Well, she wasn't by herself, but you're face checking a bush with your AD carry. And uh, I mean, if the Intenso had stayed alive during that fight, everybody solo could have been able to. Uh, do a lot of amazing things there, but uh, not unfortunately the case as uh, Orbit's kind of fallen behind here. It was 8 to 18, now it's 9 to 22, and you can already see things starting to pull ahead for uh, Troopers Troopers. I mentioned that 9,000 gold advantage. They kind of skipped that during that fight and went straight for 11,000. And uh, now Judy Monica trying to farm things up, but that's just the thing about having Zillion as an AP mid. Okay, so you lay down bombs and then you have nothing but utility. I mean, utility is great, and it's definitely been pulling out for. For, uh, for Troopers Troopers this entire game, but uh, there's the pull actually after the swap. I'm not sure how that works, but Nubby Pooper getting a DPS. There's the dash over the wall from Yazuki after going over there. Nobody's focusing on Baron Yazuki, just trying to get taken down. There's the Entenso coming in from the side. Will he have enough damage to take down Shivana? Nick Wu doing so much for his team, but uh, does not look like that's the case. Nyantan So trying to make it out of here alive. If he takes a bomb, he's basically dead. There's the speed up, and there's one bomb. Will we see another one? There's the Ignite to pick up the kills, and there we go. Judy Monica taking down Nyantan So, and uh, let's just point out how many people died from... Uh, from uh, the uh, team Undying, I think that needs to be their, their new name because they never ever die. I mean, nine deaths over the course of an entire 25 minute game is pretty low when you consider they've been making the plays and taking down 25 members of Orbit. Well, as they respond. So we're gonna see High All Nine look to flash over the wall. He always just goes so hard. There's the ult over, but he can't jump in there. And does he get it? No, he did not manage to smite that in time. Nick Wu actually ugh, gets pulled over the wall, but he doesn't really care. Orb High gets taken down and uh, Nick Wu actually uh, killing off a Baron and Nashor there. So uh, it's easy to see who has the better smite. In fact, if we check out the smite cooldown timer, High did not get that in time. So uh, just jumping in there, unable to smite that. Baron Nashor being picked up by Troopers Troopers. It seems like there's nothing they are incapable of right now. It's 26 to 9, and they're just in a dominant position and probably looking to close things out here pretty soon. Although, the problem with being... I don't want to say this far ahead because it, you've given them 30,000 gold. That's enough to make plays with. The only problem is that after having his jungle completely camp the entire game, uh, we have uh, High who's at 1 and 7. You've got Top Lane Yazuki at 1 and 6. Three and four, three and six for the carries. And then Lemonation kind of rounding out the, the end with probably the best score on the team at one, three, and five. So uh, his double gold for fives have been ticking. If we check out the gold count, we can see that as far as 80 carry farm is concerned, uh, we can see a 6,800 uh, to, oh wait, you got this little guy over here named uh, Urgot. He's got about 2,000 more gold, which he's gonna put straight into tank items, picking up a frozen heart, going for a fort pot. So that's going to allow him to survive Karth assaults and a lot of other things by just giving him flat, unreducible health, as well as a Doran's shield, which is a pretty interesting choice there. So we've got the pull over the wall, allowing Troopers Troopers to uh, grab down this blue buff, and it will, looks like it goes over to Darius? Who'd they give that one to? No, they did give it to uh, Zillion. I didn't see it. Uh, oh, it's actually a... No way. They gave it to Urgot. So Herp Derp guy going to have 40% CDR after picking up that... Uh, frozen heart so oh my goodness this is not looking good for our heroes uh looks like uh, the rest of cheaper troops rolling down to bottom lane will be pushing this wave into the turret and as they approach they're gonna leave Nick Wu in the beginning of the team or front I guess uh, I guess the beginning is the front of a story but uh, the beginning of their team is Nick Wu and he ran, ran up there twin bit the turret like twice and then said hey we just took it out of turret. That's pretty cool, bros. And then we'll... Oh, we're we gonna see a grab. No way. We're gonna grab Nick Wu. He's gonna get impaled into the wall. So much damage, but he just ults right back over. And I don't even know what happened there. There's the Ignite just now wearing off. They did not want Nick Wu to survive, but he's just like, Hey, man, I don't think you've heard of Shivana. 309 armor in dragon form. 
That's just uh, so slightly immense. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put it that way. As now, Troopers looks to push into the middle turret, or secondary middle turret. And uh, this could definitely be something that is available for them. They're gonna be able to take this down without any hindrance. And uh, then just back off the top lane. They're just going from lane to lane to lane, just taking out turrets one by one and now they're just gonna wait here in this bush double oracles actually for super troopers they never want to be without that for their uh, jungle ah, excuse me jungle roaming shenanigans which they've been up to basically this entire game you're gonna see a double bomb to bring things back towards their secondary turret bottom lane and now orbit knows hey a we can't let our turrets fall B, we've got our 80 carry bottom lane and that means there's no way they're gonna be able to stop the secondary turret from falling in the top lane Indeed, the red team's turret has been destroyed. We're looking for one more destruction here. We're going to see the grabbing on a Nubby Pooh Bear. Pop Zonya, so Captain America doing a little bit of a crazy initiate way down below. Picks up one kill. Is he going to go for a second? Is he going to get the reset? High dropping dangerous below does not get picked up, but there is the double kill. The ult down on Captain America, allowing him to go into crazy mode. Pulls Nick Wu in onto the fountain for a kill, and uh, they they are overextending here just a little bit. Now that Troopers taking turret, they need to get him out of there alive. He's going to be able to get a healed. Judy Monica dropping relatively low, but with a pull in for Blitzcrank. <laughs> Darius said, "Hey Blitzcrank, I, I heard you liked pulls, so I pulled your pulls so that hopefully you could experience something about." Something like uh, Nick Wu just did all the way over here. That was a pretty epic pull, doing some awesome ward baitings. And you can see that's something that Lemonation is quite familiar with. There's the Frozen Heart on uh, Orbit's side. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit less effective on Blitzcrank. who's just going to be kind of running around the fight being like, uh, I have no reason for anyone to focus me. Oh, that sucks. But uh, speaking of uh, reasons to focus people, Captain America just said, hey guys, you want me? Come get me. Got Zillion Ulta just ran straight into the enemy team. Let's uh, peruse the damage items that he has uh, that he's gotten. He has ridiculous AD ratios, but he has one and two very low AD items. You get uh, 10 out of that and another 25 out of that for 35 total bonus attack damage and uh, he's just like hey I don't know if you've seen my moves but they do a fair amount a, a small modicum of damage and uh, they've definitely been enough to pick up some kills so far this game he is at 9 and 4 you have an 11 and 2 Nick Wu who just dominated high in the jungle uh, like, I, like I mentioned uh, Nick Wu the uh, perhaps a greater brother of uh, of Clakey D, member of the fabulous fighting game community. Uh, just got done from uh, coming back from EVO and uh, Nick Fu looking to make a name for himself in League of Legends and uh, doing a pretty good job for, of that for himself. We're gonna go check out exactly what's happening here and what's happening is that uh, Super Troopers pushing out middle lane is gonna get initiated on by the rest of, uh, I mean, Orbit pushing out middle lane. Here comes Troopers Troopers. The double bomb will pop the Anton. So look at that damage taking him down to uh, just about 1,200 health. So I have not stopped breathing for a uh, very long time or stopped to breathe for a very long time taking a little bit of a break there but let's take a little bit of a break in the game to sort of uh, zoom out take a look at exactly what uh, Orbit is going to have to do to come back here they have Vayne, they have Karthus and they have Nocturne three extremely strong late game team compositions and uh, I think that uh, what's going to be really important is the the amount of peel that you can get for that uh, Vayne. I think that that's going to be extremely uh, important just because if, if you let Vayne sit in the back, ouch, okay, never mind. I totally did not see that she has zero damage. I did not realize that. She went for a Riggle's Lantern. I That's actually probably one of the worst items you can get on your AD carries. It's pretty much admitting defeat. It's like, hey, not only am I going to set myself infinitely far behind from getting any da item that d does damage, uh, I'm also going to buy an item that's great at killing minions that I won't be able to farm in my lane that's horribly lost. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a great defensive item, but you don't put defensive items on AD carries for a reason. With the exception of like that one Quicksilver Sash or Guardian Angel or a Banshee's Veil uh, that you get towards the late game once you actually have an item that involves a BF sword. So uh, yeah, Neonatan So a little bit behind, who goes for that Quicksilver Sash because he knows he's gonna have to QSS that uh, 
suppression from Urgot's uh, hyperkinetic position reverser. But here we go. We're going to see Troopers Troopers on the Baron buff. Are we going to get a grab? Ward over the wall. Blitzcrank says he gets trolled. Oh my goodness. Uh, a little bit of a premature ult there. And there we swap Nubby Pooh Bear over the wall. They're trading Trooper for Nubby Pooh Bear. Except the Trooper has Guardian Angel available. He's going to pop that. Nick Wu says, hey man, I'm over here as well. Are we going to see the Zillion ult? Trooper will not die. Oh my goodness. Goodness, he's gonna revive for the second time and continuing to dish out the damage. They did stop uh, Troopers Troopers from going for that, uh, for going for Baron. So I, I actually don't know how this fight is going quite so well. The flash of the wall from Judy Monica speeds up Captain America. He's cutting off the Anton So, and this guy's days are numbered. We're gonna see the impale into the wall. Will the Anton So be able to pick up this kill? He's going to, uh, no, gets trolled by the Zanyas. Flashes over the wall, cleanses the slow, tries to micro against Captain America. Will it be enough? It's gonna out for one more auto attack that would have picked up the kill. Except that, oh wait, a guardian angel coming out from Troopers Troopers. These guys are number one as far as uh, the lack of death column. Literally, they had four deaths during that uh, fight. Well, now there's four deaths. And uh, so Captain America didn't die, Trooper didn't die, Trooper didn't die again, and then also, did they have another GA? I don't think so. So yeah, maybe it was only three deaths that didn't actually happen, except for uh, the one that actually did, which was in fact, did Nick Fu go back or did he die? I was not paying that close attention. All I know is that, uh, yeah, they're they're definitely not uh, not down for this whole uh, putting points into their death column. That's like the stat that you just never level up because it's totally worthless. Kind of like charisma in some games until they realize, hey, if you max charisma, you get other super awesome quests, and then everybody picks up that stat again, and all of the rogues are happy, and all of the buccaneers are happy, and all of the warriors or orcs are really kind of sad because they don't really have that in spades. But uh, back to actual League of Legends that people are probably here to watch. This game just, oh my goodness, it's going on to 34 minutes at 32 and 11, and that's just a testament to how strong Orbit is. I don't know if you guys have ever played in situations similar of this but uh it's really hard to stay into the game it's like hey guys it's 32 and 11 we might as well just surrender to try again except you don't get to try again when you're in the ipl face-off this is a single elimination tournament so you get a couple of chances and once those are gone you're out of the tournament you don't get to go to san francisco and uh check out some awesome ipl league of legends actions so this is extremely extremely uh close uh, series. I, well, not close, but uh, what was I going to say there? Important. Yeah, I was going to somehow illustrate importance with closeness. Don't ask me how, but uh, there's a lot of uh, gold picked up from Insta clearing that wave, and uh, we're going to see. Is there a Zeke's Herald? Oh my goodness. Yes, there is. Mr. Fisher says, hey man, I can help out you guys too. There's the first base turn of the game being taken. First inhibitor will be sh falling shortly. And here we go. We're going to see the first inhibitor fall. And that's going to be uh, signals of the end times here for uh, Orbit Gaming in these, uh, this game. They're going to send Zillion middle lane to shove out this massive wave with some awesome AoE bomb clears. This should be slightly effective. Thank you for dropping my phone. That was awesome. And hopefully it didn't completely destroy everything, which is something Thing I want to do during casting. I actually broke my uh, my TV during casting because I was going to unplug something with my toe. It just happened to also snag the TV cord that happened to be perched perched on the edge of a chair. It broke and exploded and so did my casting and that was unfortunate but uh, we are fixed. We are back in action and so is Troopers Troopers. So are Troopers Troopers unless you consider the group to be a singular person as far as the pronoun is concerned. There's the pull in on the Anton. So how the AD carry gets pulled in I don't know but he uh, unable to cleanse that grab will go down there. Elimination Captain America will get Zillion ulted. He's not going to go down. That'll be Pooh Bear dropping down super low as well. Trooper will fall but that is the ace coming down the ion cannon not able to pick up anything as long as this popped on judy monica second base turret will fall and gg well played coming out from the anton so troopers troopers will push in for the win is guardian angel back up no he still has a weakened soul but uh, i think nothing is weaker than the soul of orbit right now after having just gotten crushed 
during that last engagement, the second Nexus will fall. Uh, the second Nexus turret will fall. There are two Nexus. I'd be pretty broke on one team. But uh, and there we go. Good game. Uh, congratulations to Troopers Troopers for taking down what I would consider one of the favorites of this tournament. So CLG Dignitas ordinarily favorites, but they are over in Korea and out of the tournament. And now uh, it looks like Troopers Troopers going up 1-0 over Orbit Gaming. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, subscribe. And uh, leave a comment down below so we can, uh, you know, check out what you had to say about this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next game. Peace out.